I think you know the drill. Um, how are you feeling, and what is it just like even mentally where at this time last year, you know, obviously we're dealing with another mm -hmm. injury? Uh, I feel good. Uh, body feels good. Mentally, I'm there. Uh, it's been nice having Cam McCormick there with me. Um, he's been through it a few times, so he's kind of led me through the whole process of it. What's, what's it been like mentally to handle that? Because between 2020 being so messed up, and obviously you're not planning to get hurt, but you know, you're three years in, you've graduated college, and you just had so seldom opportunity because of just being snake bit. So just what's what's yeah, it been like to handle? It's, it's a tough situation for sure. Um, you know, you don't wish it on anybody. Um, but there's a plan for everything, so I'm just going to keep working. What is What have you focused on improving this, this off season in particular? Um, well, since I haven't been able to do a whole lot, uh, I mean, like during last season and a little bit of the off season, I've focused a lot on reading defenses, um, kind of understanding the playbook better, not just from tight end position, but from every receiver position, uh, the calls centers are making, stuff like that. How do, you, how do you go about like planning for that? Is it just like you open up a random page in a book on a Tuesday and, and dive in, or like? Or... Uh, no, that's shout out to the coaches. They've uh, I kind of talked to our coaches about it, and they kind of laid out a whole. I think I think it's like two hundred something pages, and they've kind of walked us through it. It's it's not like that. But, <laughs> uh, Maringer's done a great job, kind of explaining uh going deeper into defenses and offensive schemes you know, the h and the a are kind of interchangeable but they do have different roles so do yeah. you prefer one versus the other i know one does more of that kind of motion blocking as opposed to inline stuff so i'll play wherever they want to put me where, where can you help this tight end group because it, it does feel like there's a need between you cam terrell obviously with terrence and Oak back um, i think it can help even though i haven't played it a whole lot um i've been around um you know, I think only two of us or three of us were around for the 2019 Rose Bowl. And I think uh, leadership in the locker room, like that type of stuff, I think that's really important. And we were there, so we got to see what it was like and uh, how walkthroughs went, how meetings were. Um, so I think that's important. Where have you maybe grown mentally going through this process the last couple of years? I think I've just matured. Um, just kind of realized that there is a plan for everything and just excited for every day I wake up now. At what point did you kind of become full go or as close to 100% as you are now? Um, probably like right after spring ball. Uh, like spring ball was kind of iffy, but we just wanted to play it safe, so. Is it frustrating in that sense to have just missed out on kind of that window? Yeah, but there's a plan for everything, so I'm not too stressed. Where maybe physically, I mean, you feel, it sounds like you feel good from the injury, but where have you grown maybe? A lot of the tight ends talk about speed improving. You feel like you've grown there? Yeah, I, I hit my top speed I've ever hit um, just a few weeks ago, so I was pretty excited about that, even after all the issues. So What was, this, what was that? That's a miles per hour? Yeah. What was that? It was like 20-something, or it was 20.5, 20.6, something like that. Pretty good. Yeah. It's sort of among the other tight ends, pretty, pretty fastest, second fastest? Um, I don't know. Probably in the middle somewhere. After you ran that, like, were you just like, that felt fat? Like, did you feel as fast as you ever felt when you ran that, or were you surprised by the time? Probably not. I just, <laughs> we just had the opportunity to open up, so. Is there anything this, this strength staff, this training staff has done with you in particular that you think has been really helpful since they got here? Yeah, I think uh, they've really focused in on lifts dedicated to your position. Um, so I think that's been really cool. Um, so you got quarterbacks not doing the same lifts that offensive linemen are, or tight ends doing different lifts than running backs. So it's kind of all separate. When's the, when's the last time all all three of you brothers were were home at the same time? Um, probably just a few months ago. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you guys get competitive with each other when that when you guys uh, are around? Not, not just recently, but uh, like during COVID when. Everybody was home. We were very competitive. How, how are things going for Mitchell out on the East Coast? He's doing really well. Um, he's doing his rotations in med school right now, so he's he's excited about that. Does, does it get like competitive around like holiday dinner when you guys are talking about like what you've been up to? Like, yeah, a little bit, but we're probably more supportive of anything. So yeah.